Good morning. And welcome to It's a Wonderful Life. And today we're doing all things that you can do in all of the four parks that involve water. Water rides, boats, and of course, trying every single water that's here. This is a ridiculous day. Don't, don't watch this. <laughs> Considering we're doing all things water, to start out with a ferry boat ride to Magic Kingdom. I'll show you when we get on here, on the top deck, what our, uh, <laughs> I made a checklist for this thing. Oh, you know what, if we were really fancy, we would stay at the bungalows for $2,200 a night because you'd be staying over water. We're gonna start at Magic Kingdom, Small World Jungle Cruise. Uh, the best way to accomplish Liberty everything. Liberty Bell, Casey's, Splash and Soak, Pirates, Tom Sawyer rafts. If there's anything else that I might have missed, I'll also try to point out places that have uh, good water. We're riding the ferry. We have to ride the launch boats back, ride the friendship boats, Sasagula, Dac will go on Navi, Cali, Safari, Epcot, three cabs, the seas. Oh no! Oh no! Caught it. Look at that cat like reflexes. Uh, Living with the land, frozen, harmonious, and then finish up with Fantasmic. We'll also be trying Voss water, Dasani water. Perrier, Evian, Smart Water, and any other cool waters that we can find because it's a wonderful life. It actually is. Look at how beautiful it is today. Goodness gracious. This is a way to start a day. Another ridiculous rule is the only things that we can have are food that have the bulk being liquid. So soups are fine. Drinks are fine, but no, no, like you can't just like have solid food today. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? All right, we made it. First thing down, we're gonna have to get on those launch boats to get back, so that we cover off another water craft. Water. MK doesn't open until nine o'clock. It's eight twenty, but we'll stage ourselves to get onto uh, Jungle Cruise. There you go. We made it! Do, 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 do. Morning, how are you? Thank you. You walk. Whee! Little orange bird in the sunshine tree. Won't you walk with purpose just for me? First thing on the waterfall challenge. The Jungle Cruise, which if you're not following along, we have a history series called Distry, which you can listen to on Spotify. We're already on week six of the Jungle Cruise, breaking it down from inception to finished product. So if you want to learn more about the Jungle Cruise or Haunted Mansion or various other theme park rides, make sure to check out Distry with my friend Kate, the Disney Cicerone who co-hosts with me. Let's get on our first water ride. We should probably get spit on by a camel too, because they're filled with water. Let's see if the timing, the timing, is the timing there? Oh, gee. <laughs> God. <laughs> Got that lady. <laughs> it's the little bit. Crisis, I don't know how everybody beat me here. Like seriously, how did everyone get here first? It makes no sense. I mean, this isn't that, this shouldn't be more than 10 minutes, but still, I don't know how, this many people beat me. I wasn't that far off. Hey, fans. Hit it, Skip. Yeah, they're on the ceiling over here. <laughs> well, hello, everyone, and welcome aboard the world-famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Skipper Serena, and I'm going to be your skipper, your guide, your social director, your lion tamer, and if you don't laugh at my jokes, your swimming instructor. <laughs> now we are starting off here on our oh, left-hand side. We do have in
Not my brightest idea, but uh, we're gonna walk into these misters. So, yeah. Um, oh, this is gonna hurt. Just embrace the pain. Oh, God! <laughs> what am I doing? So dumb. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, anyway, uh, <laughs> let's head to Pirates for our next water ride. <laughs> Just warning you, uh, this, this is, it's aggressive to do that. <laughs> Got battered. All right, Pirates. I am seeing the actions in this live are performed by professionals or supervised by professionals. What, getting wet? Getting wet now is a, uh, <laughs> it makes me a, a stunt artist, according to TikTok. <laughs> oh, we made it. Carlos uh, honestly doesn't really look that well, does he? I am no chicken. I will not talk. Have you ever been on pirates where nothing is happening, but you just see their voices? Or they see their mouths move? Look, look, look. What? what in the world? That's never happened to me before. People always say that the water has like a smell to it. I don't think it's the water at all. I mean, I barely smell any of the pirates' water. I smell more like smoke and tropical fruit, but maybe I'm wrong. Also, this is a, you lose this scene in Disneyland, but here in Disney World is the pirate with his rum and mug both on fire. Plus, my favorite little pirate parrot. So we've done Jungle, Pirates, and I added the Adventureland Misters. All right, next water ride is gonna be, I can't even find it. Uh, it's a small world after all. Arguably the most water-filled section of this entire attraction, minus the actual water on the attraction, would be the Rain Room. I'm Team Gator. My wife and all my kids are Team Tiger. Proving yet again that Mel is always right. So because I'm stuck to a liquid diet of water-based foods, I, uh, I got the tomato basil soup. Track. There we go. Tomato basil soup. There's nobody here. We're going to sit in my favorite, well, I mean, we could sit wherever we want, but fun things in here. Let me show you some fun things. This is the Figaro room. So if you're a big fan of the cat Figaro, this has nothing but pictures of Figaro. <laughs> Look, if you didn't know, Figaro is a cat. A <laughs> cat! <laughs> and uh, this is where uh, Mel, the girls, and I love to sit because then you can peek out. They peek outside and look at everybody in Fantasyland, which I think is fun. <clears throat> then also outside is fun. They used to have, I don't know if they have it anymore. They used to have a little, oh. Oh, can you? Yeah. A little sign-in book over here too, where you can share a wish. You can just write it down there and there's a pen and you deserve to have your wish come true, which is true. And there you go. All right, let's go get our food. It's all thing water. There's also a water fountain in there I never knew about. Never saw that one before, but there you go. Water, got some water. And then our first thing to eat that's rather water and liquidy is soup. I actually think the tomato basil soup here, completely underrated snack. It's only $3.99, comes with crackers. It's delicious. Oh man, I know I've given that a score before. That's in the fours. I like how spicy it is. It's really well seasoned. Let me pull out our checklist for It's a Wonderful Life. We have to make some updates here. It's a small world, done. Still have, and we're gonna add Ariel, so I'm gonna do Ariel to take up that Splash Mountain one. But we're doing good. Welcome to the Forbidden Fountain. Forbidden Fountain. Okay, we're testing this thing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's warm and metal. Don't drink from here, kids. 
All right, Gastonian. We're not gonna drink from that fountain because that's illegal, but we are gonna try this uh, this one all the way in the corner. Let's see if that one's better than Forbidden Fountain. And this looks like an official old school fountain. All right, hang on. Let's, uh, oh, hang on, this is not gonna work. Hang on, I'll be right back, I'm gonna fill this. Water time. Acceptable. Not great, but acceptable. Low mineral quality. Yeah, it's pretty neutral. And uh, tempid, not cold, but reasonable. So yeah, Gaston's strikes again. I'm gonna fill this whole thing up. All right, heading into Ariel, AKA the under the sea journey of the Little Mermaid. I never remember that. Fun fact, they actually put water from the Nautilus when they uh, tore down 20,000 leagues under the sea. They actually put water from that attraction in here. And look at all the waterfalls. Plus stick around because there's a special hidden Steamboat Willie at the end of the attraction. I don't know about you, but I'd say that's quite the waterfall. <laughs> Scuttle! Technically, if uh, you shot him out in a rocket, he would be a space scuttle. All right, kids, make sure you hold your breath because this is definitely the part that we go under the. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? I'm materialistic. All I want is more stuff. Somebody teach Ariel that stuff doesn't lead to a more fulfilling life. Blowfish, blow! the sea. Under the sea. All right, good luck. I'm gonna try to show you a hidden Mickey that is on this little fishy's ears. So look at her ears right next to the flounder. It's gonna be that black little section of her earring on the top. There it is. Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it with an A? I, if I have to explain the jokes, they don't get funnier. <laughs> Oh wow, they must be doing like a bunch of refurbs on this ride because I just noticed that they have two cranes out. You know? I don't... <laughs> it's sad. The, aren't these jokes sad, you know? But you die in the try, you gonna kiss the girl. Hit Mickey on the back of that frog's back. La 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 la. The king of the sea's favorite gum is? It's Trident. But, uh, you know, occasionally he'll try Spearmint too, but, you know. All right, coming out of Ariel is one of the hardest Mickeys to see, and it's actually a Steamboat Willie Mickey. So we start up here, there's his hat, there's his head, there's his nose following the center, there's the wheel and his hand on it, there's his other arm, and then if we pan down here, that's his button pants, and there's his little foot. So if we put all this together, you get a Steamboat Willie. We're at Storybook Circus, and our next thing that we have to do for our water day is to go get splashed. So, Pocket Fam is excited. They get to see the front side of water. Uh, so I might as well do that the same for you guys. We'll, um, we're gonna, we're just, we're gonna just, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. Oh, God. Uh-huh, professional. Uh, this is fine, everything's fine. Oh, yep. And there we go. And one more of this monkey for good measure. <laughs> there we go. The splashing suit. I gotta give credit to, uh, <laughs> to Pocket Fam on that joke. Call it a live stream. Get it? And I am certainly streamed on. <laughs> but one more thing down. In fact, if you're over here, one of my favorite treats, I know this isn't water related, but is this hot cocoa uh, fudge with sea salt. It's so good. We're gonna grab, I saw they have Smart Water and Dasani here, so I can use my annual pass discount. So I'll grab a Dasani, grab a Smart Water. The Dasani is 375, the Smart Water is 575. So I went to like, kind of like one of my like sneaky peat spots where there's not as many people. They also have like recharging stations all the way in the corners as well. But here we are gonna try our Dasani and our Smart Water. See if there's a difference. Can I tell the difference? And I also saw there's a forbidden fountain, forbidden fountain. So we gotta try the water over there too. All right, first up, Dasani. I'm not gonna look at it, so I feel better about trying and not being as biased. There's no real odor. I 
I get that. It's like a. I know it's not, but I almost taste like plastic. That's that's what I get from it. Like I always feel like they've sat in the sun and leached plastic into them. I know it's not. I know it's not, but that's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. Smart water. Also no scent. Again, more of a, a blank canvas, a little bit less taste than even the Dasani, but I get a touch of that plastic vibe in there again. Hang on, I gotta try these. I almost get like, not silica, like Fiji, but almost that vibe from Smart. So, close though. I do, didn't expect it to be that close, but I'm gonna say Dasani uh, is worse than Smart, but that was way, way closer. I actually almost picked Dasani until I got that little bit of that, that extra in the back. Vapor distilled water versus purified waters with minerals to taste. I can't tell you if this is gonna be good or not, but there's a lot of metal around this, so I don't know if it's gonna be good. Forbidden fountain. Oh, it smells like brass. Like I feel like I'm starting a band. Oh no. It's not as bad as Pinocchio Village. Gaston's acceptable, this is unacceptable. A time check. We're, it's almost noon. We gotta do the Liberty Bell and Tom Sawyer rafts. Let's do them now. All right, we're getting on to the paddle boat over here. And I just realized that I've never been inside this tiny little room here on the Liberty Bell. It's really cute with these little seats in here. Mississippi River. Oh, plans in New Orleans. That's fun. <laughs> That's super cute. The world's greatest literature. Oh, Treasure Islands. That's fun. Oh, that's like a that's like a little fun fact. I can't see what this one is. Are there any other books that have names? Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm like a I'm an urban explorer. I'm a theme park explorer. Finding new things to take videos and content about. From the back side of the boat, when we're leaving, we can see the Mike Fink keel boat launch. And then, fun one, just to the right of center is a green building. Now it's in the center. That is the show building for the Haunted Mansion. Painted, of course, go away green. Great vantage point for parades and stuff. Look, look at Liver Lips and Big Al. They're, they're waving to the parade because guess what? It's noon, so that means it's parade time. Big Thunder's not running, and the geyser's not running as well. Otherwise, we would get water running here. However, the slew is running. If you're panning for gold up in these hills, it's my favorite view, too, of Big Thunder is when you ride this. Usually, you'll catch the train coming around this corner, and then all the way in, and then to the left, and then down no, no, by the where the T-Rex is located at. I mean, how many times have you ridden Big Thunder? You probably didn't recognize that right before the last lift hill. One, is there a lucky horseshoe? But two, is uh, this little tiny boat dock that's down here. Actually, there's a secondary one over here as well. Uh, fun fact is that what actually happens on Big Thunder is a geyser erupts. That's why the track gets all woggle doggle at the very end. And it's kind of fun to look at. Uh, the way that this lift hill goes, the first lift hill comes at us, and then the last lift hill goes towards us. So they actually use that same exact mountain facade to do the front, the first and the last of the three lift hills of Big Thunder. If you are a fan of Disneyland, then you'll recognize this guy, or the Haunted Mansion. This is Beacon Joe. And Beacon Joe is the king in the Haunted Mansion. He's also Beacon Joe over in the bayou of the Blue Bayou of Pirates of the Caribbean. And uh, over here, he just sells bait 
for the alligator swamp. Also, this is the only place where we have, similar to the piranhas uh, the Jungle Cruise in Disneyland, little jumping fish like that. If you're a fan of Pirates of the Caribbean, you may have noticed the costuming because there's a pirate speakeasy over here. All right, that's the next move. Our next water attraction. We take the rafts over and then we'll do real quick the barrel bridge and then come right on back over here. And then we gotta get to Animal Kingdom to do more water rides. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me, lads. We have a tiny tour of streams and things and playgrounds. There's a little playground up here. And if you're a, um, you bring food to the park, it's actually a really nice picnic area up here that nobody utilizes. Most people don't even know that this playground exists. It's really cute, our girls really like it. <clears throat> and then over here, nice little picnic area. <laughs> I like this, Barrel Bridge. Tom and Huck's way, the other way. All right, Barrel Bridge. This thing does float, and depending on where you step, <laughs> it does it does get a little wobbly. <laughs> I love it. It's like the key is you got to go fast, and you got to step on the barrels. <laughs> Apparently, they liked uh, watching me go over it as well. <laughs> I had fans over in the Haunted Mansion line. And then this is uh, Aunt Polly's. It's almost never open. This would have been my spot for a retheme to like Tiana's place and like change this whole thing into the bayou, but oh well. I like that we get Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I've never seen it open, Aunt Polly's. Uh oh. We found another one Forbidden Fountain. Forbidden Fountain. Ooh, again. It's pretty warm and metallic. So, just a recommendation, this is not the spot. So we go across here and look at this bridge. It's gonna be really tiny, but dead center frame is a hidden Mickey. All right, we're done at MK. We're heading over to deck to do Navi and Cali and Safari. So, we out of here, over to deck. Clear. All right, we made it. Literally had to run here, and they were so kind to let me jump on the boat. I was the last person literally raced here. So, away we go. This goes to, this one particularly goes to the Grand Floridian, and then heads off to uh, the Polynesian. We are heading out officially from the Grand Flow. Our Narcosis is right there. Looks like they're doing some work on the dock, too, over here. sock is, is the corner that Mel and I watched happily ever after uh, late, late August on a solo trip before we moved here in September. So we are just about to close on selling our home, and I remember holding her and crying to, it was the last time we saw happily ever after uh, together as a couple. Made it to Animal Kingdom, and we're going to go on Navi first, uh, but fun fact over here, if you never noticed it, for Animal Kingdom, Animals of now, elephants. Animals of yesteryear, dinosaurs. And animals that never existed, dragons. I mean, technically Komodo ones, but whatever. If you've ever looked to the right, I know it's hard to not look at the Tree of Life, but this used to be an attraction where you would ride boats around Animal Kingdom through this little waterway. Now the flotillas are the only things that go there. This has been defunct for quite some time. We made it to the land of Pandora, which some people say that that's a, a group in those flying or floating mountains, but I don't see it. I mean, I, I get where you're coming from, but I don't think that's purposeful. Let's go see the most expensive of all of the audio animatronics, the shaman.
to the cement baobab tree. Oh, hi, how are you? Five minute wait on the safari, which is kind of crazy because it is 2.39. Five minute wait for the safari. Not a great time to come on to the safari. Simba, Simba one, never been on Simba two. But because when it's, when it's warm like this, swear jar, when it's warm like this, typically the animals are not as prevalent, but who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll see a bunch. I can't believe it, man. There's even more construction going on. Look at all the cranes. Man, we have a really good look here. If you get a look at the upper lip, it's almost like a little tiny elephant truck. Let's see if it comes out. Uh, they use that for grabbing leaves off of branches and bushes. All right, on the left, reddish brown are bongos. They're known as a ghost of the forest. Even with the bright coloring, when they get in the bushes, they blend in really, really? well. And if you look I back, I didn't see any bushes, drums. That was weird. Animal back there. There's one back. I have There's, never seen uh, a giraffe all over the place laying down there. ever in my entire life. No, I never seen one. Uh, giraffes are the tallest animals. They top out at around 20 feet. These are Maasai giraffes. They have this irregular kind of jagged pattern on their coat. Uh, so laying down, that's something they don't normally do in the wild. Uh, here on the reserve, they're a lot more comfortable, so they do it way more often. This is documentaries, but giraffes love staying in front of trucks. <laughs> this is uh, what we would refer to as a giraffic jam. The short horns on the head are called ossicones. <laughs> He's so close. Yeah, if you were thinking these oh, were animatronic, they're not. Still <laughs> being. Now you know. <laughs> oh, wow. We're really lucky out with the giraffe. I've never seen the giraffes over here, too. This is like, this is very, okay, really cool. There's very a baby different. elephant in front of us. This so actually, there's a few elephants. Uh, this let's is see, probably the one, one of the best. The is the baby of the herd. She's six years old. Giraffe. Uh, Directly behind her is her big sister. She's getting a drink of water. Uh, holy mom cow. should be somewhere close by. And then elephants at the pool. And it's honestly getting harder and harder to tell the two sisters apart. Except for the tusks. The tusks are very different. And that might be, yeah. Okay, so I know that's mom in the back because she's dancing. You see that? You see mom dancing back there? <laughs> so mom used to live with another elephant that had been in a circus and she taught her how to dance. <laughs> and uh, she's been dancing ever since. Oh, there's two back there. <laughs> mom walking over. Uh, watch the ears, they're gonna pivot around. That's how they keep track of what's going on around them. Uh, those are white rhinos. They average about five and a half thousand pounds and they can run up to 35 miles an hour. Is she? She's probably about uh, 1,800, 2,000 pounds. <laughs> Male lion coming up here on the left. So if you've ever watched the live action Lion King movie, that guy was adult Simba in the movie. When they were making that movie, they came out here and took pictures of him, and that's what they use for their modeling. So he's kind of a celebrity. Yeah, he doesn't know that, but he is. Also, that rock sure, maybe is meant to look like Donald Duck. Well, ostriches are the largest birds. They are flightless, thank goodness. Keep the hands inside. <laughs> yeah, they're curious and they're tall enough. They can run up to about 40 miles an hour. Uh, very powerful kicks. They can actually take down a predator as big as a lion trying to catch them. Pretty on roll, of course. And you can make donations, but really anything you can do to raise awareness is going to be helpful. Yeah, that could be as simple as sharing photographs Into or the videos drink. taken. Having a conversation. Talking about some of the issues facing the animals. All that really goes on. Uh, there here, you go. Bombay, we don't like to All right, off to Cali River say Rapids. So we, well, here we go. Here's our update. And I got this tray on here just so it doesn't fly away. Magic Kingdom all the way done. DAC, we have Cali River. We drank Smart Water and Dasani. I told you this thing was going to flip around on us. And we've done two of the boats. We're getting there. We're moving and grooving. Time check. It is... 318, let's go to Cali River. Cali River Rapids is one of those things where you could get soaked, you could get nothing. You're gonna get a little bit of water. All right, you're gonna get something. It depends on if somebody's working the bridge too, because the bridge, they always spray you. That's gonna be us shortly. Which one? I don't know. Maybe the one in the front, as I get pummeled by water. And away we go. I always like to 
theming up here too with deforestation and the uh, T-Tech logging company. It's all stuck. You know? You know? Honestly, not that wet. Really, I got more soaked on uh, the KC soak station and the camel and that, what was that thing over at uh, in Adventureland? I'm pretty unscathed, to be honest with you. Let's head on getting out of here. Also, the button is not working for Cali River. I don't know why. We're heading on over to bum, 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 Epcot. We made it to Hollywood Studios, but this is the bus depot. I just want to show you this hydration by Hawes. It's not a bad system. Uh, it's just usually warm, but it's nice and clean if you need to get water there. Now, we are going to be heading, actually, I'll show you right here. I'm actually going to be heading onto this waterway over here via boat to head to Epcot. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more pep in my step. I see they're holding for that family. I feel like if I can get there relatively soon. We can catch this boat, otherwise we're gonna have a pretty big wait. Walk with purpose, walk with purpose. So these are the friendship boats. Swan and Dolphin, Yacht and Beach, and Boardwalk. Takes about 20 minutes to get there. We're almost there. There's our completed Magic Kingdom. Almost done with our boats. I added the Epcot boats in there too. We do have to try out a couple more waters. We're done with deck. We're getting there. We are certainly getting there. So the Swalfin was our first stop. Passing by the boardwalk going underneath this bridge. I don't know if it goes to boardwalk first or Yon Beach. I think it goes boardwalk first, then Yon Beach, and then Epcot. All right, so we elected to get off here at the lighthouse, which actually, to be honest with you, it looks a little heavy. So I'm actually, take care. I'm actually shocked that they call it a lighthouse because I couldn't lift it. Maybe you could, uh, but I'm so hungry I could eat my fist. So instead of eating my fist, we're gonna go over to Beach Club. They have uh, clam chowder soup. So let's go get clam chowder. I need something liquid for water day. We're almost into the Beach Club marketplace. Thank goodness, so I was gonna pass out from lack of calories. Water day is a very low caloric day. <sighs> Welcome to the marketplace. It's probably one of the most popular DVC locations here on property. So you pay up at the front register, like over there. Well, I did find the Tiana cupcake. It's super cute. And looks like they also have a St. Patty's looking cupcake, but there's like no mint or anything in it. But I just recognized that they have another water, which normally you can find in Italy, Pellegrino. Interesting. All right, it's super quiet, but I wanted to go to the solarium because it's just so pretty over here. But it's nice and quiet, so I'm gonna be quiet while we're doing this. All right, here's my soup. The big soup reveal. It is. Oh, they have a fill line. I gotcha. I should have gotten pepper. <laughs> As clam chowders go, it's, it's really average. It tastes very like flowery and thick. Um, not a lot of stuff in it besides the, I don't know, the creamy. Reminds me of eating like cream of wheat, honestly. There are some potato pieces, some celery, some carrot. I just need to eat something. This works, whatever. Then we're going to Epcot, we can eat more. As I get a little bit lower into the bowl, there's definitely more stuff. There's more stuff in it. Out of five, 3.2. I wouldn't get it again from here. I would get New England clam chowder though, over and over again in that bread bowl at Columbia Harbor House in Magic Kingdom. Great quick service for seafood. All right, we made it through the International Gateway. Come along with me, come along. As we go into Epcot for a couple of attractions. We're gonna give you uh, the lands and the sea. 
Catch me outside, how about that? Here we are going into the land pavilion, giant volcano to ride living with the land. All right, let's live with the land. Oh, I just noticed that Chiquita Banana is no longer a sponsor here. That is bananas. Never have I ever gotten an entire living with the land to myself. <laughs> All right, let's go. Most people don't uh, think of Disney as religi religious, but when you uh, actually go on this attraction, you do pray over here. So everybody, let us pray. It's the only way to get ahead in life. Beans and green beans and green beans. All I ever think about is green beans. Those green beans, those green beans. I've got a giant basket of green beans. Those green beans, them green beans. If we were in France, there would be Cote de Verse. Green beans, those green beans. They even have French cup green beans. Those green beans, those green beans. Sometimes good in casserole, those green beans. Those green beans, those green beans. There's enough for you and me, beans. Green beans, those green beans. No time to be mean beans. Those mean beans, them green beans. Every time I look at them, the green beans, I get so happy for green beans. Every time I look at them, I get green beans. So, oh, that pan flute! Woo! All right, we ran into fellow pocket fam Heidi Patty, but we're going into the seas with Nemo and friends, which shouldn't actually be a 10 minute. All right, thank you. When the sun goes down and it starts feeling cold, nothing will warm you up better than a Vichy Soie chilled potato leek soup. I had it before last year. It's delightful. So, and I need calories, that's for sure. Soup, it just, you need more. I just need more. I'm running very low on calories. Lots of miles, low cows. All right, there she is. The cold leek soup. Let's try it. Mmm. That is potato. On the top there. And I like that it has like crisp uh, onion on the top. Mmm. It's really rich and creamy. I like the oil that's on top as well. It's very garlicky. And I love garlic. I've done this before, so I can't re-review it, but I would put it in the high threes, low fours. Would I get it again? 100%, especially in the summertime. Like, this is what's up. Very good. I would definitely get it. Cabs are here. T-shirt time. <laughs> All right, let's get on the three caballeros. a la Gran Fiesta Tour. No matter where we goes, the one, two, and three goes, we're always together. Do, do, do. And we have the stars to guide us. All right, hang on. Hitty Mickey, one of the best ones, right over here by the pool. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. He looks so good. All right, we walked over to Kringla. And we're going to go into bakery here, not for baked goods, although great spot to get lefsa. I love lefsa. Um, it's better than rightsa <laughs> or wrongsa. Uh, we're going to get um, Perrier and Voss water here. Voss versus Perrier, which they're both over five bucks, so take that with a grain of salt. Which salt is an electrolyte, so just in case. Perrier is my favorite so far of all the bottled waters. I'm a little bit biased because I've drank plenty of Perrier in my day because they sell it for super cheap at Sam's Club. Voss reminds me a lot of Smart Water. It 
has that very plasticky slash silicky kind of slickness on it. I don't know. Yeah. Perrier's the jam. Hmm. In a pinch, Voss is good, but Perrier is it's delicious. So accomplished a lot more. We tried Voss, we tried Perrier, Friendship Boat. The uh, These Epcot boats are already closed down, I think. Three cabs, seas, living with the land. We gotta do Frozen, Harmonious, Fantasmic. So three left to go. Made it to Japan. We are headed up to Katsura Grill for two liquidy water things. Oh no, you're fine, you're fine. Two watery things. The miso soup for three bucks. And then we're also going to get the, where is it? The tonkatsu pork ramen for 13 bucks. It's also just really fun. I love how fun this restaurant looks. It's really cool inside. Makes me feel like I'm um, like climbing Mount Fuji or something. It's like a, if there was a way to have an, a Japanese Alpengeist building, this is what I envision it to look like. Oh, no, you're good. Thank you're good. you so no, much. No, no worries. You're good. You're good. Yeah, no worries. Please, right? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, we in. I'm not crazy about the miso soup here. It's just okay. But the price is good. Three bucks. And then that pork tonkatsu is very good. I've had both of these before. And uh, I would recommend getting the pork tonkatsu anytime for pretty much everybody. It's very approachable for your palate. And then... The chicken cutlet curry here is fantastic. That's my favorite thing here with rice. That's 14 bucks all the way at the top. And that green salad looks quite good as well with the ginger dressing. All right, last challenge. Ride of the night. Frozen number after, then we have Harmonious, and then Fantasmic. Skyliner and uh, we're gonna catch harmonious from here and, you know for a fireworks show I thought it would be a lot more fireworky that John Denver is full of it <laughs> just kidding should have said that Walt Disney's full of it there's the speedway so I'm gonna catch one more uh, round of fireworks up here but clearly there we go. There's a little Before bit more. Before you walk the red carpet, remember to double check your star studded itinerary using your My Disney Experience mobile app. Phantasmic awaits. To a nightmare, Phantasmic! If you leave the park at 9 o'clock at studios, you can always catch bits and pieces of Harmonious over the water. <laughs> right here. And of course, because it's not a really crazy fireworks show, uh, there's fireworks like every 20 minutes. So, I still, I'll hold to this forever. Enchantment, currently, best fireworks show, not saying best show, not saying best music, best music harmonious, best nighttime show, Fantasmic for storytelling. Fantasmic is the best show we have. So, just saying. There you go. All right, we made it. Uh, we ran, we got here. We walked with purpose, we didn't run. But we're right in the front. I don't know if this is gonna be where we get wet or not. I don't know enough about Fantasmic, so let's figure it out. We got a good spot of Aladdin. <laughs> it's, oh, the water has started. <laughs> it's, a, it's the little things in life. He's waving us! Do, 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 do.
quick. Uh, we're kind of in the middle here. Okay, no, we're good. That, that, oh, oh, that's a little wet. <laughs> we're not, we're not in the way of the cannon, but we are. We're in the way of that one. <laughs> So we made it over here to Port Orleans French uh, Quarter and uh, we did it all pretty much. We just missed the Epcot boats which closed and an Evian which I didn't find. I know, I think they have them at Layall but I'm not sure. But uh, my name is Kirk. Follow me for more hacks, snacks, and fun facts. I'm gonna finish up the water challenge with this bean water. And, uh, and this guy. It's a St. Patrick's Day beignet. Let's see how that is. All right, catch you guys later. Peace, I'm out of here.